Okay, so today's video, we're gonna be checking out Aurora, and he is the original character that I summoned for, you know, 100 summons later, we got Chaska, but yeah, basically, these characters actually work pretty well together, actually. I tested them out on stream, they're pretty nice, I do, honestly, looking at just playing Aurora, and he looks, this, this guy, he looking cool, you know? But beyond that, we Aurora actually does do some pretty decent damage, even on this team, right? Uh, let's go ahead. Let's just do a, just do a little bit of a rotation here. You know, we're just gonna go ahead and grab that. Um, we're gonna go ahead. You know, get Pavonius particles. Then we're gonna have this. Presses E skill. Ten thousand damage on the E skill, and then twenty thousand. And yeah, five thousand ish right there. So I mean, if for a level seventy character, which by the way, yeah, level seventy. I mean, that ain't bad. That's not bad. And we'll get into why that really is not that bad in a minute, right? We're just going to go into Abyss right now. And I'm going to show you the clear time I, I see when I have Aurora on, on the team. And it's going to be pretty good, honestly. Now, I don't actually know what other teams would maybe make use of Aurora on. Because right now, the very limited teams that actually want Electro Charge. We, I think we can maybe get, you know... Beyond just Chaska, another character that wants Electric Charge, possibly a Hydro character, right? I wouldn't put it past them. I've already tested this team out on my stream, so if you want to, you know, be a part of one of those, you know, sessions where we test out new characters before the video is released, come, you know, make sure to join the team. Uh, or not team, stream. I, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, 2,700. I mean, we're trying to look at his personal damage, but we're going to also... Maybe, you know, try and focus on Chaska's clear time here because that is going to be a big factor into how this gets played out, right? So, okay, Bennett's E skill, of course. Just, you know, I don't know how he did that, but he nullified Bennett's E skill. Uh, sure. And we're still having energy issues. One thing with Oron, not having energy issues, it's something that he's very good at. Um, as he as i say all right we gotta restart this this was awful i bennett not getting his e skill bennett is the character who has e energy issues on this team and bennett also has a hundred or 270 percent energy recharge by the way so it's not even a question up to why he has energy issues it's just because he's a bad character for energy but yeah if you just pop out you know Aurora's e skill before uh then we'll go ahead and we can see all these damage numbers sixty five thousand from whatever her name is chaska yeah not bad and then we're left with sort of the same predicament here all right we're just gonna go ahead we're gonna pop an e-skill you know do the damage do the damage all right we're gonna pop his e-skill there that did twenty thousand damage for aurora uh we are having some energy issues let's go ahead not enough huh i don't know why i didn't have energy issues earlier when testing out this team i didn't have any energy issues i'm not joking i just didn't so hmm it's it's interesting uh, very interesting um let me make sure to go ahead and grab that all right can i can i hit uh, yeah short sure. all right we're gonna pop cheska's burst here okay we're gonna go ahead here we're gonna just do a q here this guy should go down by it, literally any moment now all right we're gonna pop an e skill here and that goes against everyone there and then we'll have that okay there you go so his E skill regenerates more energy, I think, the more opponents it hits. So it can really help out. And I mean, yeah, 9,000 damage from him right there. 9,000. And this is all all just, you know, very much so easy to do damage numbers. It presses E skill, you know. Um, oh, okay. I kind of cooked that one myself. But, you know, we still cleared in a minute. You know, that's not bad. You know, for a C04 star... Being on the level of having Shenho on the team, I'm going to now do a run with Shenho on the team, and I'm going to show you the clear time. He's at level 70, by the way. I'll show his entire build at the end here, but I mean, it's nowhere near, like, finished because the dude's level 70. It's just as simple as that. The dude is level 70. He does good damage still. He is doing good damage still. So we're going to have Chaska. We're going to have uh, Shenho Bennett. Here you this team is probably going to go ahead and clear like 10 seconds faster. So, I mean, it, that's what it will do. But, I mean, it's not like Oron was level 70. C0, level 70. And he, he was just doing that. And also, we weren't having, we, you know, Oron also with his constellations will end up being a character who is going to have, uh, let me e-skill here. Um, oh, nope. All right. Well, we got to do this. Okay. And we'll hold the E. Sure. Thank you. 
and don't forget what electric charge is doing it seems a uh, 150,000 from you know a melt there um and what electric charge seems to be doing is that uh it's going ahead we're gonna grab this all right hold and i mean hold, 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 chaska uh, i tried to switch into chaska apparently i didn't all right whatever but you you can see here i mean there we kind of had issues but we also had issues on the Roron team so i i don't know whether to really you know it's a sample size of one versus sample size of one it's whatever i've cleared that chamber in nine minutes ten and i've not i've not been able to do that kind of clearing time with Auroron, right i have not been able to do that with my you know couple testing i think we did a couple i don't remember but we've then we've done a, a decent amount to now say that's it's an average that aurora is going to clear in nine minutes so the aurora team clears in nine minutes and i've done enough shinha runs to say that i you know nine minutes ten is when she generally clears that uh so yeah i mean it, that is what Auroron does. I just say like that is that's a level 70 Auroron at, you know, 78 crit rates, 176 crit damage, only 106 energy recharge. His C whatever. What is his what constellation gives him a load of energy? One of these do. C4? Yeah, eight energy. That would have fixed all of our problems basically. Maybe you give him a little bit more energy recharge, but like would have fixed all our problems. And then don't forget that he's also buffing every single time here. He he is buffing with this. He is buffing hydro damage with this and possibly even pyro depending on how that goes around i mean pretty good it, it is pretty good he's only at a level six burst you know level two new talent level two of this and this thing hit twenty thousand damage by the way that that is how strong that was so yeah uh Auroron looking really nice looking like a really nice team honestly uh i you know i was not expecting him to do that much but he seems like he's able to do a pretty nice amount of damage very very nice you know you know very 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 nice have i said nice enough but yes yeah, seriously though very good i mean able to sort of compete with shenha i mean that's pretty good right that's just outright pretty good because let's say you have a cryo immune enemy now you don't have to use shenha let's say you have an electro you immune enemy now you don't have to use Auroron and you could switch to Shinha. That is something that, you know, Chaska needs because right now, Hydro Tulpa nullifies Furina's damage. So having a character like Auroron, who works great with Hydro Tulpa, by the way, because um, uh, the Hydro Tulpa will automatically have Hydro applied, and then you'll also be doing Bennett with the Pyro hit, and then you can have Shinha on the team. So yeah, I'm looking at it. I'm seeing pretty good numbers. I'm liking it. I'm liking what I'm seeing. So it's pretty good. I am giving this a thumbs up. I... I'm very excited to see what he can do at C6. I mean, this is C0 level 70. He's performing pretty well. Now, if I want to be a little less serious, I can go ahead and I can show off an Electro team, which is not what I would prefer to do, right? I would not like to do this, but let's go ahead and let's do like a Chloride Electro Charge team. So we're going to grab that and then I think we're going to have Yale on, right? This is going to make our energy problems even less because electro resonance is going to constantly regenerate electro particles for us so we're going to see what this is i'm going to see maybe chloride has you know another team that she can run now i am running favonius on my yelon but i don't think that's going to matter it is important to note though that this team is not going to be great uh so five thousand and seven thousand there i mean not bad uh, and then we're just gonna follow him up and he, he does suffer a little bit from circle impact right now he's not really doing much right that's one thing you can say about Auroron. He's not really doing much, but uh, I mean, we're looking at him now. We're looking at this team now. It's not looking bad. All right, burst, sure. And he is buffing both Hydro and Electro by 40% right now. I mean, that, that's that got to be factored into him being that good, right? Like, he is really good. He's factoring into, you know, this team getting really strong buffs. I mean, you know, it's not... A, a team that's uh looking bad let's pop a q and then boom ah, yeah not bad um yeah dude we're gonna finish this in about the time that chaska cleared and considering this is an electro charge team which is not what chloride really wants right this is just not a team that chloride is super happy with right she's not some character we did not get his burst there but i don't think it matters i mean we cleared that in a, under a minute 30 that's what for an electro charge team that's pretty good and once again level 70 the dude is not really here showing out at his best performance right we could do a little better we could you know i mean i not the best idea but we're gonna replace shinha or we're gonna replace yelan with 
Shilonen. This isn't going to stack the elemental buffs here, so it'd probably be better to run Aurora on a different set, or maybe even Shilonen on a different set, like Archaic okay, Bloodline, or whatever, or okay, Petra. I've combined, what is it? It's uh, Petra, no, Archaic Petra, and then something else. So, I don't know. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to come in here, and we're going to just do this. We're going to heal with Shilonen's Burst. And then we're going to have this. So, Shilonen is going to be decreasing the res, which is something these enemies have a lot of. All right? These enemies generally have a lot of, you know, their damage. Wow, we are finishing this faster. All right. Sure. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Shilonen's probably going to finish this off for us. Let's pop the burst. Nope. Didn't need to. All right. Let's go. E-skill. Q. 14,000 from him. I mean, you can combine that with all his other damage numbers. That's pretty insane. I mean, look at this. This is pretty insane. Yep. Okay. Go. Um. Did we clear this in a minute? I mean, yeah. I don't know, man. I, we did add C2 Shilonen. Right? That is C2 Shilonen. But that's also, like, a buffer. Uh, we could we could even go ahead. Actually, ooh, I wonder. Let's see what that does. If we add Kazuha instead. Because Kazuha, his buff isn't going to last long, but he will buff, right? Sh Shilonen is giving the 30% res, 45% HP to Furina, and then just the 25% from her weapon. With Kazuha, we're going to be getting 40%. We'll see. This is a more grounded way of uh, experiencing this. However, it will only be buffing... Uh, I want to see if I can do this. Can I... How's this work? How's this work? I don't know. I think... Uh, yeah, we got... We, we, we swirled Electro. We, we swirled Electro. All right. Let's see. See what happens. I am curious. All right. This should kill him, honestly. Yeah, not bad. Still killed him. All right. We're going to have to use Aurora on second here, though. That is one thing. So we can make sure that we're getting... I don't think we got it. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. But this is more so we can make sure we're getting the grounded approach here. Yep. All right. I mean, we're seeing pretty good numbers. I mean, it's basically the same time. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Shielinen wasn't really doing much because we already have the the item. Yeah. I mean, what? I, the the most that I did was have C2 Kazuha, who was doing extra damage with his E-skill. Having C2 Kazuha, which is giving everyone 200, or the active character, Elemental Mastery 200. So he was giving extra stuff. We don't have his weapon. We have C1 Fiorina, who's giving the extra damage buff. But beyond that, I mean, the, the like the team cleared... The team cleared, guys, and uh, the same amount of time, basically, the Shilonen team cleared. Because, I mean, Shilonen, she's really only providing extra energy. Is he is he going to make Electro Charge really good? These are also entwined with the Electro Charge buffs that have already happened, right? So, I think it's pretty good. I'm, I'm honestly, this is looking pretty good to me. I'm going to be real. You know, I'm certainly looking at this. It's very good. I think that this is honestly very strong character. I don't have any, like, I mean, this is C0 too. Imagine C6 of this guy. You have this guy, C6. So, yeah, I would say Auroran looking really nice. Because if we get C6, the team's just going to clear faster. And if we level him up to level 90 and actually build him more, the team's just going to clear faster. I wonder how Fischl would handle in that exact same spot. She's on the stringless at level 70. So she's kind of nerfing herself, and she's on Golden Shroop. What is her? What is the attack stats? Maybe we can say they're sort of even. Nah, he's got better attack. It's probably a thing. All right, so let's uh, switch weapons, and then we'll test. Okay, so it's a little... Uh, still, the Golden Troop set is not, like, there, but let's go ahead and test out again, just so, just so we can make sure that we're being fair, right? And even still, if she does end up, you know, killing the guy or something... We still, like, did the same with Auroran. All right. Fischl should be doing a lot better now. I can already tell. Kind of. Um, I don't know if we're going to end up being the same. All right. Fischl, Fiorina. Yeah. Yeah. That's about the same. But, I mean, once again, Auroran. Character who is, what? Not C0. Or not whatever. He, he's not. He's C0. Right? He's able to provide damage bonus through an artifact set that Fischl doesn't have access to. So yeah, I mean, Aurora on C0 with the same weapon, you know, artifacts are a little different, right? You know, we did have an issue with that. The artifacts are a little different, but uh, the artifacts are a little different. He has like 70% more crit rate, crit damage, I mean, 
Uh, but she's also level 90 with a, I think, it, I don't think I crowned her talent, but I think it's very high. Yeah, the, basically, yeah, level 12. I probably could raise that up. But uh, yeah, official, I mean, would be probably the next best in slot. I mean, maybe you could argue Beto, but I still think Fischl's probably doing more damage. So yeah, I'm going to have to say that, uh, it, I, I, I mean, the dude's level 70 with a level 6 talent, and he's... He's a C0, and he's performing the same as a level 90 character. Like, very good, I'll say. Uh, I think Oron is going to be a very good character, and especially once if you have constellations for him, because every single one of his constellations, I mean, 25% rotating faster. I mean, that's going to do more damage, right? You're going to get 8 energy. This, his C4 is really strong. Uh, and then you also get electro damage bonus just outright, and then you also get just uh, an extra 50%, uh, you know, from the whatever. Yeah, I, I think Oron is going to be pretty good. I want to see what he's like with Constellations. I hope we get Constellations, but uh, yeah. I, I mean, the dude's was, dude was amazing. I get why people wanted him so badly. Like, I was, I liked him, but I don't think... I, I wasn't in the hype train nearly as much as a lot of other people saying that, oh yeah, this guy over Chaska. Like, I like him. He, he's drippy, you know, but he wasn't really like a crazy character. What is he doing? He's just feeling the air. Didn't know bro was like that. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.